So in front of us we have an example of a collection of R3 vectors. It's all the vectors in R3 there. The first coordinate times 7 is equal to the bottom coordinate squared plus 4 times the middle coordinate. So basically all the vectors that satisfy this equation. Um, I've been asked to explain why it's not a subspace of R3. Um, personally, the first thing I would do is, is decide why it might not be just like emotionally um, and I'm, I'm thinking the z-squared is looking awfully suspicious here. Uh, I think the z-squared is causing us problems. It doesn't feel very linear. It makes me feel like this is not going to be a subspace of R3. So, when I show it's not a subspace of R3, I'm going to exploit, I'm going to use that z-squared somehow. Now, to show it's not a subspace of R3, I need to show that one of these two vector space properties, sorry, the subspace properties is broken. If it was a subspace, then... Um, then for every v, uh, try again, v comma w, if it belonged to double, capital W, then if that was true, then their sum would also belong to W. And then also, if you had a vector that belonged to W, then every constant multiple would also belong to W. Every scalar multiple would belong to W. So C is a real number here. So these are the things that would be true if it was a subspace. And I want to break one of them. So I either need to pick two vectors that belong to W and show that their sum is not in W, or I need to pick a vector in a real number, a vector in W and a real number, where the multiple is not in W. I'm much, I like picking real numbers more than I like picking vectors, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pick two vectors here. I often try to do this one. This is the one property I often try to break. Uh, although it could be done this way as well without much uh, more heartache, I'm gonna work over here and try this one. So I have, it's, it's, it's if we have a vector that belongs to W, is what this is saying here. So I need to pick a vector that belongs to W. And I can pick numbers. Since I'm trying to prove that this is wrong, I can come up with a counterexample, some specific numbers that break it. Uh, I'm going to make up numbers that make this equation work. So I'm going to say, so this is actually, this is just my thought process in my head. Here's my actual work. I'm going to say, let's let, um, or maybe let's consider... I'm going to pick numbers, and I'm going to make sure it belongs to W. I'm going to make sure I pick numbers that make this equation work. So uh, I want to use Z, so I don't want to zero out the Z squared here, because that's probably what's broken about this, is the Z squared. So I'll, I'll just, I will have to square it. I'm going to make it something simple. I don't want it to be zero, but I want it to be something easily squared. So I guess I'm going to let the Z be a 1. All right, and then uh, I need this equation to work out. So what could I do? Um, well, I could let this uh, y be a one, I guess as well. And then I have one plus four is five. Well, that's not a multiple of seven, but there's no rule that says I can't pick a fraction. So maybe five sevenths. So I can consider this as a W since uh, 7 times the X, 7 times 5 sevenths, equals 1 squared, the Z squared, plus 4 times 1. All right, let's cancel. 5 is equal to 1 plus 4. All works out. Okay. So that is a vector that's in W, and I need a real number. Um, often, if these things are broken, they're pretty well broken. Uh, I don't want to pick zero because actually that would just make everything zero, and that's actually fine. Zero equals zero plus zero is fine. Uh, I want this to no longer be true. I want this equation no longer to work. Uh, I don't want to multiply by one because that doesn't actually change anything. So I guess I'll try two, um, but... 2 times 5 over 7, 1, 1. That would be 10 over 7, 2, 2. And I want this to be broken now. This is what would happen if it was true, but I want to pick things that make this broken. I want this not to be in W. 
sense. And, uh, well, I just checked the equation, right? 7 times x, 7 times 10 over 7, that's equal to 10. That's the left-hand side. Hopefully that doesn't equal 2 squared plus 4 times 2. And what is that? That's 4 plus 8. That's 12. Okay, those are not equal. And that's why it doesn't belong to W. So I've made up a vector that works, it belongs, but if I stretch it, double its length, it no longer belongs. And in a subspace, that shouldn't happen. In a subspace, we should be able to multiply vectors by any number that we want. Uh, here I took a vector and multiplied it by 2, and suddenly the subspace property, the equation requirement was broken. Um, I can conclude, therefore, W is not a subspace. And if I want to add more, may I say because it is not closed under scalar multiplication. I was able to multiply by a scalar and get something that escaped, went outside the subspace, the subset. It's not a subspace.